Introducing the African Diaspora News Channel app, your gateway to stories that's overlooked by the corporate mainstream media. And we serve as the voice to the true power black community. Again, we got Dr. Candace Matthews. A lot of these documents, you know, looking at. We are committed to informing and educating through the power of media. This country is supposed to be about the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people and we are tired. With our platform, we're helping to end injustice by exposing it. Join us in standing for excellence in journalism and serving our community. Download the African Diaspora News app today. Another day, another Karen. And in this case, it was in Buffalo, New York. And we have a sister who works at the law firm who happened to use the washroom on the floor that she actually isn't on. But it's a public washroom and it's for all employees. Yet here comes Karen, who is telling her she cannot use the washroom on that floor. Take a look. I guess I can't be in this bathroom because people are still. Whatever law firm is upstairs on the third floor. Can I ask who you report to so that I can call the law firm? To yep, I just, I, just, I just told him that. Okay. I can't use this bathroom because of what? Because yeah, because of what? Your floor Who, why do I have to stay on my floor? Because of what? Why? Why would you not stay on your floor? Why do I have to stay on my floor as a bathroom? You, well, you I can use the bathroom. Right? Where you have, they know me particularly. What you mean, me particularly what? I asked you to please not use our bathroom. I can use whatever bathroom I want to use. This is this is a law firm I work. This this is we this will, is this is this, this is look. Security. Please contact security. I work here. You sound stupid. Yeah, please go go down there. Thank you. Tell him I'm taking in this bathroom. I don't know about you all, but I am really sick and tired of these Karens that want to appoint themselves the gatekeepers of all things. And I don't know if you caught that, but she said something along the lines of, well, somebody like you or you, you in particular are not allowed to use this washroom. Well, we know what that means. That means you, black woman, are not allowed to use this washroom on this floor, even though she's an employee for that firm, just happens to be on a different floor. As we know, sometimes these law firms can be large, and depending on the department you're in, you can be on a different floor. But it is a washroom that's accessible to all employees. So these Karens need to just get lost, seriously, get lost with this. Like, there's no reason why you have to deny um, access to a washroom other than the obvious, which is that you're a racist. Now, the sister, obviously very angry. She said some things, especially towards the end, um, made reference to tell them that I am going number two, if you will. And um, she got a lot of backlash saying that, you know, she behaved stupidly and her behavior was tacky. And so she got dragged and now here's her response to the people who were telling her that, you know, her reaction was unacceptable. Take a look. I was so angry earlier. I couldn't even speak, okay? I never been somewhere working and I was racially profiled about using a bathroom, okay? So all that, you sound stupid. You make bad black people look bad. Y'all don't make no sense. Did you experience something at that moment and see how you will react in my employment? So I felt some type of way. So yes, I was all over the place. I'm always all over the place. So if you don't got nothing nice to say, all the little trolls or whatever behind that keyboard, don't comment. And your mama stupid. Now, would I have said that? Probably not. I probably would have said, you know, go ahead and call the police. And when I say that, I mean the last portion of what she said, which is let them tell them that I am taking a, the word that I'm not going to say, but you can deduce what I'm talking about when I say number two. And so that's what people are dragging her for. And that was her response, which is that, you know what? I was mad. I was so angry and too bad for you. And I'm going to say what I need to say. Basically, she is not um, backtracking her reaction and she's owning it. 
when we get angry and we're upset and we're emotional and we are tired of being treated this way by Karens and the folks in general, sometimes our reaction is, you know, if you go low, we're going to hell and we're going to drag you and we're going to not, uh, you know, be the most classy in the way that we uh, react or address, you know, these Karens and these Kens. So again, I wouldn't have done it that way, but we're tired and you Karens and Kens, you need to just stop because as I keep saying, it's not always going to end well for you if you keep doing this. So let me know what you all think about this and how would you have handled it if, you know, this Karen came to you when you were at the same workplace as her, but she's deciding that you can't use that particular washroom. How would you handle it? Drop your comments in the chat. Also, don't forget to like and share the content. Also, subscribe and download the African Diaspora News app. You can grab it at the Google or Apple store or head over to AfricanDiasporaNews.org and grab it there. You'll have access to content you won't see here or anywhere else, and it is wonderful stuff. So you don't want to miss out. Download that app and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.